Hey guys, so on today's video, I wanted to do a drawing breakdown of an Oni mask. If you ever wanted to know how to draw Oni mask, this video is for you. So if you want to learn how to draw this, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm using right now is the Procreate app on an iPad. Uh, so at first I start to do a silhouette um, and using the symmetry tool, you could really make a pretty good Oni mask. It's a fairly easy tool to use and uh, using it makes your life so much easier. So I start off with a basic shape. Uh, once I get that, then I start moving on the eyes. I feel like the eyes for me uh, anyways is the most important part when doing an Oni mask because once you get the eyes you kind of know how you want the Oni mask to feel either angry or a little bit more demonic in this case he looks a little bit more demonic and unlike other um, Oni mask his teeth are not too jutted to the side normally they're really jutted to the left and the right uh, I wanted to keep it a little bit more inside of the face um, so he kind of looks a little bit more demonic here or, or, or orcish and then I move on to the horns uh, very um, normal when you're doing an Oni mask they, it's very common for them to have horns so here again the symmetry tool is your best friend when doing an Oni mask um, then I move on to a little bit more detail uh, I just do a little lines here and there uh, giving it a little bit more depth uh, giving it a little bit more um, texture somewhat and then moving on to the teeth making it look um, a little bit more realistic I know these are all line line drawings but to me it adds a little bit more character to the mask once I have that I move on to making flower designs if you look at examples of Oni mask a lot of them do have flowers uh, coming out to the side like this and you know, uh, you could Google some of these images uh, to get some uh, flower ideas. Um, I did that for most of this um, illustration uh, as I didn't know what flowers to go with. Uh, sometimes I just do random circles and triangles, making it look like a flower. But you know, you're, it, it's, this is where you kind of get creative. I like doing flowers of uh, whatever style. Uh, for example, this one is definitely an, a photo. I mean, an, an image that I found on Google that I had a reference to and I kind of like the design. So I used it for this illustration. And then I move on creating not too much flowers because uh, you can get overwhelmed. I still want the Oni mask to be the center of the attention here. And then creating some smoke, again, adding a little bit more effect. Uh, they're all coming towards the Oni mask in the center. So once I get that, I'm fairly happy with this uh, design. I do a thicker outline just so that the Oni mask stands out a little bit more. So going through this, uh, as you can see, I'm just going through the lines. Again, the symmetry tool is your best friend. Don't be afraid of it, especially if you want to know how to do um, Oni mask. And here I'm doing a clipping um, technique. So what I do first is I just colored the whole face so that I don't color over it because I'm just going crazy with the colors here. And I'm just adding some gradients because once you add gradients, uh, you could use the, the Gaussian blur and make a nice seamless gradient as you can see here. Uh, it was a little bit dark at first at the top, so I added a little bit more red, but you can see it goes from light red to dark red. And now I'm adding some of the yellow in the earrings. Um, I feel like red and yellow is a really nice um, combination of colors. Uh, and it's very uh, common when you're drawing Oni mask, especially red Oni mask, to have yellow highlights. And here I wanted to go with orange, keeping it with that color, same color vibe, uh, as you can see. And then now moving on to the horns. The horns, I, I don't want to leave it white. Um, if you want to do that, that's cool. But horns and teeth are not pure white. Uh, and I wanted to give that, you know, kind of bone looking feel. Um, so that's what I did here. And here I'm just coloring some photo, I'm just coloring some of the flowers. 
I didn't really know what color I wanted to go with. I just wanted to go with some lighter colors uh, to contrast the dark red. So I'm picking teal. I think it's teal and pink for some of the flowers. So we could just fast forward through here because uh, this is just me. Uh, I don't have a, a, an idea of what colors I wanted to go with. Uh, the leaves I wanted to keep green for sure, but the flowers, it was just a random assortment of colors. Um, I try to stick with colors that would uh, contrast the red so it's not, you know, it doesn't blend too much with the red. Uh, so I didn't have any red flowers. Uh, they're all like purples, blues, oranges, and pinks. Oranges is probably the closest one to the red, but it's still far uh, from it and it still keeps you from not getting distracted too much. So this is where you could have fun, have some um, color variety, uh, and again, you could you could draw uh, the flowers, but I, I wouldn't go too too crazy on the flowers because again, you want the oni mask to be the center of the illustration. So yeah, so this is just some more flower drawings, uh, and yeah, and why I like. And if you guys want me to do more videos like this, I love drawing Oni Mask. I think this is going to be, uh, I'm going to do more of these. Uh, and if you guys want me to do an even uh, more in-depth breakdown of how to draw an Oni Mask, uh, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, and then you'll see, I'll have more content coming in. Uh, and we could, uh, you know, we could be friends and uh, ask me some questions and let's, uh, let's make some art together. You could also follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter. My links will be in the description below. So here again, I'm just finishing up the flowers and adding a little bit more detail, making sure I don't miss anything. And that's it, I think. Oh, uh, here I messed up a bit. I forgot to remove the um, mirroring on one of the layers when I was fixing up some of the flowers uh, so I just had to go over it and fix my mistake and there you go that is an Oni mask if you guys have any questions let me know and uh, I'll answer them as best I can but I think it looks pretty good and I'll definitely do more oh yeah here I'm, I'm doing I'm adding a little bit more shading and and some highlights uh, i think i filled up the eyes so that it's not pure white and i'm just adding some shadows and highlights where the light is hitting the face so by doing this i add like a little bit more um, of a 3d feel so that it's not like a flat image If you guys want me to show you how to do the gradients, uh, let me know and I'll definitely make a video about that. Uh, especially if you're using Procreate. Um, this is my main drawing tool. I also use Sketchbook Pro, but I just love drawing on Procreate. Um, just more free. And that was it. Perfect. think in the comments below and if you like this sort of video please like and subscribe so you can see more videos in the future uh, and if you want me to make more uh, oni masks please let me know and then i'll make some more new designs and go a little bit more further and if you want me to show you how to go from this to this thumbnail uh, i can show you how to do that too here's a little secret i use canva and it's a, a really easy process to do this thumbnails. so thank you and have a good one peace out